One of the most fun things I've realized in recent years is that actually hardcore slaps and all the metalcore and metallic hardcore and deathcore stuff that originally helped me get into metal, but then that I kind of left behind when everyone told me it wasn't real metal is actually really great. Uh, and that style definitely didn't die when I stopped listening to it. Here's a short video about a cool moment from one of my favorite of the metallic hardcore bands I've been digging into uh, for the last few years, Jesus Pieche. I'll get right to the point because I know you're very busy. There's a really nice part of the first track of their only self that has a kind of surprising buildup and payoff pair. If you listen to any metal or hardcore, you're probably familiar with how these things normally go. You get some little section building energy and prepping you for a big old breakdown or some other like huge riff. This happens all over the place in this music. Like for example, two songs later on this album in Punish. More specifically, the little bass and drum intro is subdued timbrely. It lasts for a predictable eight measures of 4-4, it ends with a short pause, and with all of this it sets up the tempo and pattern of the big riff that comes next. It like telegraphs what's going to happen, so we're ready for it, and anticipating the surge of energy we get from hearing the guitars and vocals come in on this absolute beatdown of a hardcore riff. <laughs> The buildup on Lucid, which is the riff I'm actually talking about, is longer and quieter, and it ends with that thing where bands throw in a little spoken word bit before the breakdown, which only intensifies the anticipation and payoff. to inform you, you just got tricked. Big time. I bet you feel pretty silly right now because of how bad you got tricked. But don't feel silly, I'm a pretty skilled trickster. Anyone would have fallen for it. The truth is, this isn't how this build-up payoff pair actually sounds. The version that's actually on the album is much cooler. Instead of the digitally edited version I played, where the payoff riff is at the same tempo as the build-up, the actual song sounds like this, with a slick tempo modulation where the dotted eighth note becomes the new quarter note uh, at around 180 BPM, or if we're hearing it as 6-8, the new dotted quarter note is like 60 BPM. There's kind of a nice ambiguity here with the different layers to pick from when you're headbanging. But anyways, yeah, so here's this. We get the build-up in one tempo, and then we kind of shift abruptly to a new tempo when the, the payoff riff comes in. Before you jump in with, isn't this just like a temporary syncopation because it goes back to the original tempo after, I already disagree with you. It would feel like that if the drums kept the old 3-4 meter going on underneath and there were clearly four guitar attacks for three beats, for example. That would sound like something like this. So what actually happens is that everyone commits fully to this new tempo and the meter stays in 3-4 with the guitars. So even if the band is thinking about it as a temporary syncopation, it's sure as heck not designed to feel like that. Here it is again.
What's so cool about this is that we get what I'm calling like a misdirection buildup. It's like they say, okay, get ready to headbang in this one way. Really get ready, we're gonna do it. And then when the time comes, it's like, surprise, the payoff is at a different tempo. You got punked with too much tuna. And it's not just like a witty or funny fake out kind of thing. Uh, I feel like it actually serves to make this payoff so much heavier. It feels to me like I'm preparing with the buildup to get hit from one direction. So I face that way and I brace for impact but then I get completely walloped and blindsided by the riff coming from a different direction slash tempo when it does kick in. And the like initial disorientation and recalibration makes it all feel so heavy, where you're not only like, oh man, this is so timbrely heavy, I, I can you know feel the crushing guitars, but you're also like, wait, uh, where's the where's the tempo for, for just a second? And you have to like reattach to it, re-entrain. As I've argued in a few places, I think that disorientation is is a key ingredient to a lot of a lot of really heavy stuff. So yeah, cool cool riff, some new terminology, and a very very cool band. But anyway, speaking of things that are related to my dissertation, which is you know about mostly about tempo, uh, I regret to inform you that this will be the last riff analysis video that I do for a little bit because I've got to get this dissertation done on a faster schedule than I originally planned, and I need to turn on the tunnel vision. I'm gonna do one more video about my favorite music of 2022, which I'm filming right after this, and I will post pretty soon after I post this one. But after that, I will see you again in the summer. I'm sorry for calling you silly earlier. I feel bad. You're not silly. See ya.